If you're watching this video, you're having some sort of a car battery problems. In this video, we'll talk about these problems and how to fix it. Hi guys, I'm Adam here and today we're talking about car batteries and a simple solution to recondition your old battery that you don't have to replace it. But before we get there, what, what are these battery problems? Okay, battery problems basically in a car, you're not able to crank your engine uh, due to the, the, to the fact that the battery is not holding charge or draining fast. Okay, in order for us to find a solution, we need to understand the cause what causing this problem okay and to understand the cause we need to go into a basic uh, explanation of how a battery works a battery like the one in front of me it is three uh, over three years old okay and hold almost no charge at all by the end of this video in five minutes and with a cost of less than five dollar we will recondition this battery in a few basic steps that you able to do yourself However, please, before I go any further, this at your own risk video, okay? I have a good knowledge, a good basic understanding of chemistry, electrical, and by trade, I'm a mechanical engineer. However, it doesn't need a big degree or a, a rocket scientist to, to, con to, perform this, uh, to perform this repairs. All what you need is a common sense. So please, at your own risk, apply common sense, and use your uh, basic protection equipment. All right, what is a battery? A battery is nothing but a container, okay? And inside this container, a chemical reaction takes place which reduces the voltage that I'm using. Okay, that's the basic term, but to simplify it even further, okay, a car battery, a 12 volt battery has a six uh, cells, okay? They are connected in series, if, uh, every cells reduces 2.1 volt, okay? In each cell, there is total of 16 blades, uh, uh, lead blades. These blades, the 16 blades are split into eight negative, eight positive, and all of them emerged um, in uh, a solution, acidic solution, which is, um, we, which is contains 65% water and 35 uh, sulfuric acids. A chemical reaction takes place and through this chemical reaction we end up with reducing the voltage that um, we get out of the battery. The problem with the battery is that the older the battery, the, 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 the more this chemical reaction takes place because every time you drain the battery this chemical reaction is happening, every time you uh, um, you charging, you're actually doing another chemical reaction uh, in the battery. Over time, you will end with some corrosion inside the battery, which is causes particles that settle at the bottom of the of the battery and bridges between the blades, and this causes uh, some of your uh, your cells going out of commission. The second thing is sulfate. Okay, every time you drain your battery, the sulfate builds up on your blades, and that is basically uh, the cause. Uh, sulfate is insulated by, by, by nature and it ends up reducing the capacity of your battery. So if you imagine we have a 12, uh, we have a 6 cells battery, if we lose one cell, that is already 2 volt out, meaning that my battery is already below the 12 volt I need to start my car. Okay, so in simple term guys, understanding the basic of how the battery works, now we can understand what causes the, uh, what causes the, the problem. The problem is when my battery is not holding, there is a, a, a bit of a buildup inside the battery, or there is um, this buildup can, can be sulfate or it can be your particle that is bridging between the, the same. So, simply, all what we need to do to revive this battery back to life, all what we need to do is do some flushing and a chemical reaction to clean the lead blades inside the battery. Okay, how do we do that? Simple. This is uh, sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydrogen bicarbonate or commonly known as 
uh, commonly known as battery powered. Okay, when I add this one inside the battery, it reacts with the battery acid and it uh, produces uh, carbon dioxide, water, and sodium sulfate. Okay, this basically will clean my blades inside the uh, inside the battery. Further than that, I need uh, normal uh, battery water, okay, or demineralized water to flush the inside of the battery. Okay, let's get on with it and start it. So guys, before we uh, before I started the video, um, I ended up, uh, I will show you how actually to open a sealed type battery. First of all, in a sealed type battery, you will have a sort of uh, indicator here on top to show you the charge, uh, if your battery is good or not good, green is good, anything dark, uh, black, it means the battery has no charge or dead completely. How to open a sealed battery? Okay. Before I started the video, I had to reduce the time of the video, I have opened this, uh, this lid and it's very simple, all what you need is two, two screwdrivers, okay. One screwdriver, you're gonna, this is the drain, uh, the, the vent port basically for the hydrogen when the battery is charging, all what you need to do is you put this one in here, you will, in this position as I am, you will, uh, lift, um, you will pull on it, pull up, and with the other screwdriver, you will work nicely to open it. Uh, to, to get the, the cover loose. Okay. Simply you break in the glue that holds the cover to, uh, to the battery. All right, the first thing we need to do once we open the battery, if you look here, I don't want to spill water uh, or acid. If you look here, that is basically the eyes, one, two, three, but before we go any farther than that, we will need to put some safety protection. Minimum, Eye protection. Latex glove. And basically a mask protects you from the gases that's gonna produce from the chemical reaction. All right. So all what you need to open the battery, two screwdrivers, to recondition, we need Baking powder, deionized water, battery acid, and a super glue. All right, let's start. The first step we're gonna start with is we're gonna start boring the, the powder inside. So I'm gonna put this mask. And when, once the powder goes inside here, it, the chemical reaction will happen and will end up with bubbling, a uh, uh, white bubble coming out. This is nothing but the, the, uh, the carbon dioxide that's coming out, basically bubbling the, inside the, the battery. We'll give this one, you'll put it in, you'll give it two minutes exactly, then you will dump the, or empty the battery content into a container. And once you empty the battery, uh, basically you will flush it with this water, okay? Give it a rinse and empty it. And after that, you will put the acid, and once you put the acid, the battery is reconditioned. One thing before I, uh, before I put my mask on, just please remember whenever you drain a battery, you don't put it upside down, because any sediment that is inside the battery, you don't want it to sit on the upper part of the plate, okay? We don't want to get all the rubbish on top. So whenever you drain the battery, you're gonna hold it and you're gonna Get it as close to the eye, the, the part that's the half that's having the eye, and you will tilt it down gently to uh, basically drain uh, drain the battery. Okay, guys, let's start. Okay guys, so the chemical reaction taking place, we'll leave it for two minutes exactly before we empty the battery.
Okay, guys, so we've done the, basically the, the drainage of the battery. Okay, now we're gonna add the ionized water basically to flush it. Okay, guys, uh, so we've done the, the flushing. Uh, basically the, the baking powder okay with the uh, ionized water we've done the rinsing and you can see already the improvement that we have okay from almost zero voltage to something like about nine nine volt all right so the battery right now is empty we'll start putting the acid inside uh, i'm gonna use, just use improvised uh, funnel um, the, there is label for the battery and any battery will have a marking on it on this battery this is the two line i will spin it just now after i fill it and there's one line minimum and one line is maximum that's where your uh, solution need to set so i'm gonna carefully and slowly uh, fill fill the battery and uh, we'll speak after that Okay guys, as you could see, we started from almost a dead battery, the cleaning and now filling up with acid, we already increased on the voltage, the battery basically being reconditioned. The only thing we need to do before we close it up is to put it on charge, uh, just to, to get it to, to charge a little bit. Then uh, once it's charged, um, we'll see which, or during the charge basically, uh, we'll monitor to see which uh, cell is going to go low on, on, on solution and we'll top it up as we go. Once this process is finished, we basically going to use our uh, super glue and we will trace where the old glue was and we'll close the, the battery. That's it all guys, nothing to it. I hope in this video we um, you ended up uh, getting some information to assist you uh, in saving some money and most of all environment we the more the less we waste unnecessary the more that we can help our environment till the next time 